Hello and welcome to Nerdy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Nerdy Steve. Today I'm joined by these fine nerds, Robin, Carlos, and Steven. All have links down in the description so you can go check them out. Uh, you probably know who me and Ted are. With that, I'm just going to throw it to Nerdarchist Ted, and you can do whatever you want with this with this uh, fine production. It's all yours, sir. You're at the helm. Hey, every- hey everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, episode five of uh, our ongoing season two, the Central City Zoo campaign. Call it whatever you want to do here. Uh, we've got you know these illustrious mob trying to make their way into the employ or the family of machine gun Otto being pitted against one Carlo Hambino. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and roll this die, see who comes up. Uh, and that's going to be Steven. So why don't you introduce yourself, tell people what you remember from last session and throw it to somebody else. Okay. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Stephen Partridge. I'm playing Roscoe Reddick. He is a red panda, and he's super sneaky, and he does all kinds of stuff. He sees people as assets, which is kind of problematic, but whatever. Um, uh, we're criminals, right? Um, and uh, last time, I remember that we uh, kidnapped... Uh, oh, what's his name? Oh, I want I want to say Wild Bill Hiccup, but I know that's wrong. Oh. Oh, it's, it's it's Wild Bill. Wild Bill. Okay, I, it's just not the hiccup part. Okay, um, Wild Bill the Beaver. Yes, Wild Bill the Beaver. We kidnapped him after we went to these muskrats den, and we like fucked shit up like royally, right? And then we got his uh his still, and we took it with us. And we took him with us, and we are trying to now get him to make brew for Machine Gun Auto. However, in the meantime, while we don't have that, we are um, having uh, my contact, Dorothy, friendly Dorothy Pinkett, who is an elderly flamingo lady who runs a speakeasy. She's going to kind of like float Otto some of this booze until we can get all that situated. Um that is all I'm going to say because I remember more, but I don't want to take everything. Uh, go for it, Dave. All right, Nerdarchist Dave here. I'll be playing Tully the Speedster McGee. He's a tortoise and he's a driver. He's the driver. Uh, yeah, you know, you, you did bring up one of the important things. Uh, and I want to just add, you know, uh, we broke the cardinal rule. We did not get consent from the beaver before taking the beaver with us. Consent is very important with your wildlife. Um, but we we had dire needs and we are kind of the bad guys. We needed booze and he knows how to make the booze. And it's not our fault. He couldn't hold on to his booze because the muskrats took it. We got the still back, but not the booze. Uh, the worst part about all that is we had to go back and talk to Oliver, um, Machine Gun Otto's right hand man, and and maybe sometime body double, and explain to him why we had a beaver and. Uh, still but no booze with that i will throw it to robin uh and actually the reason that we had no booze is because i'm pretty sure we used it to blow up the bad guys um in this case so aren't they to... just the guys right because oh yeah because we're the bad guys <laughs> the antagonists carlos have you gone i have not gone yet but um What's good, internet? My name is Carlos Rivera. I run the Volcanic Night YouTube channel, and I am playing Arnold Shortman, the one and only hippopotamus grifter of this particular zoo. At least as far as I'm aware. But, um, yeah, yeah my one of my favorite parts was at the very end of um, all of this, or actually the only part that's actually left is... <laughs> <laughs> at the very end of it um we did some negotiations with between um uh I for, I'm sorry see what was the name of um the contact again uh Dorothy 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 and um Otto's man so um hopefully uh yeah I rolled the seven so successful consequences. And then uh, let's uh, see what happens. All right. So before we dive in, uh, I've been talking 
talking to some Nerdarchy fans, and some people are interested in checking out the game, uh, but they don't want to run it until they've had a chance to play it. Uh, so I'm going to you know, start creating a list. I know we have a email list that we might be able to blast out to, uh, but if you're interested in potentially playing in a game on a Sunday afternoon uh, for Zoom Mafia uh, with yours truly as the GM, please reach out to me, uh, ted at nerdarchy.com. And uh, I'll I'll see if I can get some games wrangled for that. So without further ado, let's dive back into our zoo. Uh, night has fallen yet again. It is the day after you had some time at Dorothy's uh, place. What are you doing? All right. I, I believe we're in the process of planning the heist, right? We had, like, uh, we're getting out the, the salt and pepper shakers and the... Uh, uh the um um uh, napkin holder and the sugar so that we can uh so we can map this all out you're doing this at the hideout correct uh yes all right well have at it guys all right what did we decide our target was going to be i believe we decided that we were going to go for uh targeting Hambino and possibly framing it such that Owl Capone was to receive the credit for it because we figured she probably wouldn't mind having that on her reputation, as it were. So I feel like we had like the inkling of a plan last time. And, you know, what um how do we want to uh frame al capone oh that's right uh arnold you're gonna you're gonna dress up as uh oh maybe that was the other way around doesn't hambino have a hippo hippopotamus uh, yeah son of a yeah. monkey's uncle you're gonna have to be an owl <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Who um who who are the heavies for uh Al Capone? Al Capone? Uh yeah. pull back up to my document here. So the her 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 club, her roost, if you will, uh, you know, is or her 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 club or her speakeasy is the roost. Yeah, so uh the, that's it's the roost, but what um we need to know the heavy so that we can see if we can't come up with uh or you know or even even anyone from her crew that we can maybe try there and is, duplicate. There is an ostrich <coughs> an eagle that run run the heavies for uh huh I'm just picturing an Arnold on stilts now yeah. <laughs> um yeah that might be possible do you uh have a ostrich costume go through my stuff and actually yeah and um, I'll start um, doing the you know who I am personality trait uh, to see if I can pass myself off of as one of Hambino's men. Uh, who are you going after? Um, right, I'm not like sure. Ostrich, who was... or are you gonna try try to look like an owl? Um, I might go more ostrich <clears throat> because I think owl might be too much of uh yeah, I might I might be flying too close to the sun with that one. So I'll do the ostrich. Alright. You gotta be shitting. Oh my god, thank god. You remember how I said before we started it, I was getting all my bad rolls out the way. So I just rolled I rolled a twelve. With neutral boss and favor boss, um, uh, so twelve with uh, 
two bosses showing. <laughs> None, <laughs> the, the positive and the neutral. All right, so you get a marker back, and thank you, sir. The plus one forward. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and the plus ones for everyone, or I pick someone specifically. Everybody. All right. Good stuff. All right. Remember, folks, get your bad rolls out the way. Arnold, I barely recognize you. Yeah. You know, he dress up. And he really likes he 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 takes his like um whatever I I I I wanna say saran wrap, but he does something to make his legs look super thin, you know, really puts himself like like almost at, like uh, in a corsair it's like uh, oh, uh, yes sir. Uh, Ah, uh, and you know, starts making himself look more ostrichy uh, like. So the uh, the the ostrich is uh, actually. You know what? Let's see. Why doesn't somebody <laughs> try to gather some information about this this ostrich as you're getting into the heat? So um, uh, I, I'm I'm gonna have one person do sly and one person do awareness. Mm. I can do awareness. Uh, that is that is a nine plus the four. That gives me a ten. All right. Who wants to who wants to do slice? You got some some, pie, some pieces of information. Uh, I could. I'm not good at it, but I could. <laughs> you, just have to you just have to remember, with this game, you know, only good things happen. You either succeed, succeed with consequences, or get XP. I do like XP. Okay. Thank you, the juicy XP. <laughs> All right. So, uh... I feel like I'm trying to, like decipher the bones here i've got two <laughs> bosses showing and then a one on the enemy die <laughs> all right so that, that's a that's a crit before any uh any modifiers so, so it's you, a success yeah you're okay. sitting at a 13 before you add stats oh that's good so what is your sly um zero <laughs> okay so you're at a 13 if that's uh so again uh, everyone gets a plus one, and you get a marker back. Oh, uh, cool! I needed that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, two two mega rolls uh, right off right off the bat at the start of the session. Uh, so the information that you're able to ascertain, uh, uh, the ostrich is Jenny Jangles, and mm. uh, the the little you know. Jangles, as you would expect, means, you know, she wears lots of, you know, bangles and jewelry. So that might be something to work into your disguise. That'll be the the thing to really sell the sizzle that this <clears throat> Jenny. Uh, Absolutely. But the, oh. and, and this is supposition, if you will. Uh, Jenny Jangles wears jangles because she has a thing for uh, a heavy that works for Carlo Hambino. And that is one, uh, uh, you know, <clears throat> the, the, the giraffe, Charlie, the chains, Gatano. Okay. Okay. So, um, I'll incorporate like a little bangle of chains in my neck. So every time I walk, you know, uh, it's going to be great. Oh, and, and all my legs too. So all, all right. my legs and my Long ass neck. I'm gonna like have jingle jangles. Like, so anytime I walk or run, oh, it's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I dress better than her. Actually, <laughs> oh, maybe in the, in the process you can implicate Charlie is helping uh, Jenny. Mm hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Because that is Alrighty. what villains do. It, that is pretty villainous, indeed. 
All righty. What else? Uh... So I have a start a job ability I want to use. I want to see what kind of vehicle I can get my paws uh, on. Yep, like, yep. I don't have paws. I don't know what I have. I don't know what turtle speeds are called. <laughs> uh, all right. Better roll. Remember, you got a you got a plus one forward from frenzy. Oh yeah, awesome. All right, so Roland license to drive. Okay, okay, we can do with this. Let's go with that. All right. So, so while he's rolling, Roscoe and Arnold, uh, you're sitting on uh, two plus one forwards, right? Nice. Yeah. So that's that's a nine, and you procure <laughs> any. So I can procure a motorcycle, moped, pedal boat, hand glider, or hot air balloon. Uh. Or pedal car, bicycle, golf cart. So I guess so. We're gonna be so we're gonna hit the pigsty, right? So mm-hmm. what kind of what kind of what kind of getaway do we want to make? Um, <clears throat> I have a question, Arnold. Are you able to help others disguise themselves? Uh, in person. According to the first sentence of my abilities, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Um. Question because it's, it's, it's more than just it's more than just a disguise, you know. It's the way you act, the way you carry yourself through the crowds. You know, not to get rattled, and I, as I say rattle, I'll jingle jangle a little. Well, sadly, I am not gifted in the art of thespianism <laughs> as you are. Um, so, uh, Ted, can I try to use my you're coming with me ability to snatch up one of the, like, doormen or somebody that kind of lets people in? And then, like, just replace them and be, like, I'll be there and I'll be working to try to, like, let my people in and make sure they get an easy getaway. Mm. All right. So you want to you want to just, uh, you know, be be the doorman and know, know full well that that's going to put you out of the action unless, you know, they somehow signal you. Um. Well, I don't know. Are we splitting up? Because I thought last time we talked about splitting up. We did talk about splitting up. Um, mm. And so my thought is, if I make it so, I, I guess, I don't know for the way the narrative is going to work. Like, is it better for me to be with them or is it better for me to help them get away? It is. It is. I, I, I'm just going to react to what you guys decide you want to do and fill in the details. Uh, this is entirely mm. your story oh. here. Um, now, obviously, the dice play a part, you know, depending upon how well things go, but... Uh, mm-hmm. uh, like I'm not huh. handing you the mission. I'm just right. Yeah. You know. uh, okay. Uh. Well. What. What do you guys think? How could I be the most useful in this situation? You know oh, what? Maybe if I we... think. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So we we have a little bit more time because we have Dorothy <laughs> filling in with the booze, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so so we're not as quite as desperate for the time as we were before. Um, with that being said, maybe if you wanted to try and snatch somebody so that we could get like information about the layout, where the you know, where the most like uh, the floor plan, uh, where the booze is, something like that, we can do like an interrogation, yeah. Well, if Ted would allow, um, me to kind of like I guess fill in the blanks of one of the characters that I uh implement it before the game um i do have the call in a favor ability i could contact an oswald the ostrich uh you know he's kind of been on the booze here and there but like uh what i could probably say is like you know the reason he's on the booze is because he's no longer part of the ma hambino gang eh, because of some sort of incidents and maybe he may have some information regarding uh, some of the you know, information Roscoe was looking to for. Okay, so you're saying right. that world used to be used to belong to uh, Ambino's entourage? 
Mm -hmm. So you might have some information. The information might be legacy, but, you know, that's why he is the way he is. <laughs> so, uh, you're going to try to call in a favor from uh, from Oswald. Yes, sir. I roll it up. All right. All right, that's so far off. Well, hmm. That's not good. That's a five. Even with my no. plus one forward. Yes. Uh, well, you know, you gain an XP. Uh, Thanks. I you will, go, sir. You, you go to try and, you know, muscle a favor out of Oswald. And uh, you can see that he is uh, off his gourd. He is apparently <laughs> so so drunk uh, that he is not able to give you, you any information this evening. Mm. Okay, well, you know what? Because I failed so bad or whatever, can we say, like, I got some of his stank on me, too? Sure. Um, go ahead and give me either, a, you know, awareness or a moxie roll. To see if you got your your right mindset at the moment. Well, either way, they're both plus zero. So, right. <laughs> just roll whatever. Okay, uh, six on the cusp of failure. Uh, si six is a failure. Okay. All right. So, uh, go ahead and take another XP then. You see, yeah. Can't wait to level up again. <laughs> All right. Uh, you it's you nice. head back to uh to the the hideout, pretty much defeated. Fill mm. the the purpose you left for. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Well, uh, I go for it. So uh. Uh, Arnold, uh, how did it go? Do you have those <clears throat> blueprints for us? <sighs> his, his guy, he's, you know, he, let's just say uh, I got there a little bit too late and uh, he was already off his rocker. He was already neck deep in a bottle. Well, that's going to complicate things. Yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes you get sometimes you get good information. Sometimes it depends on the person. If you know what I'm saying. I completely understand. So, uh, how much information do you uh you reveal about your contact to your allies? Um, I re I reveal nada because um not because. I mean, it's not that I any information I would have gotten from Oswald would have obviously disclosed, but you know, he's my personal contact. He trusts me with his anonymity, if you will. Sure. So, um, but obviously, any sort of information I would have gotten, I would have disclosed if sure. I had any. <laughs> so, uh, just in case it somehow slips my mind, you will later uh, learn that uh, Oswald is been arrested for uh, public intoxication and drunken disorderly contact conduct. That was the result of your failure. Oh, that's sad. Wow. You, 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 you could have, you know, if, if you were successful, you would have been aware, like, dude, you got to get off the streets being, you know, this, uh, this far gone. Wow. Oh, you done to get that turkey plucked. <laughs> oh, let's say uh, he sh his let's say his thing shows up in, inside the Gazette the next day. <laughs> Indeed, it uh it will be. I mean, it's not, it's not front page material or any of that kind of stuff, but uh, you know, you know that the uh the nose is not a uh, is not liking, you know, the the alcohol here and you're going to be oh. out, you know, drinking. No go. No bueno. Wow. So, uh, we're going to need some kind of distraction or something if we're going to figure out where the booze is and get it out. 
This job is turning out to be riskier and riskier. Hmm. Well, you know, riskier the job, the greater the reward. So, at this point, I think our only real reward is not pissing off Oliver anymore. That itself is worth its own weight in peanuts, sir. <laughs> you know, the more I'm hearing this, the more I'm thinking it might be a good idea for me to pose as the doorman. And then that way I might be able to mess around up front and possibly cause some mayhem on the sly. <clears throat> we could always set something on fire. That was actually my plan. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Dolly's default answer that anything is fireball. You know? Frenzy perks up. <laughs> Arson. <laughs> uh, lovely. When all, else, when all else fails, set it off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, As my so, shirt says. Uh, for this job, what I would like to try and get a hold of mm -hmm. is basically the, like, the Model T ambulance that they use. To okay. move animals to the vet. All right. Um, we we can we we can swing that because you were successful in your role. So, so uh, Roscoe, you're gonna put a distraction up up front, and we should have the uh, we can have the ambulance at the back door. That makes a lot of sense. Um, also, Tully, do you think you might be able to make me up some of your world-famous Molotov cocktails? I would love to. So, um, yeah, I guess I want to do my you're coming with me to get the doorman. All right. Um, so in order to do that, you would have to first learn where the sty is. Because you know, you know, where Hambino's territory is, but you guys aren't in the know as far as where it is and how to get in. Oh, I see. Like, mm. there, there are a couple of like regular speakeasies, like, you know, Dorothy's Place and a, a couple of others, but like, you know, it's illegal to have a speakeasy in the zoo. We are we are in the height of prohibition. And right, right, right. Not in any way, shape, or form friendly with any of uh Hambino's uh folk. So you need to find out you might know that the place is called the sty, but where is it located? How do you get in? Mm. Only Oswald wasn't so drunk. Damn. Okay. Sorry, man. That's huh? Hmm. All right. Uh, it was my dice, sir. Maybe I should use my thing to get that then, and then just kind of see if I can make a roll to pose as the doorman, and hopefully nobody will notice. <laughs> Do you have something to get information? Um. Well, I could use that ability to get the information instead by just taking someone who I know is one of Hambino's people. Mm. So you just want to you want to snag a, a Hambino person? Yeah. All right. Well, maybe uh, probably a lobby, somebody who literally would just know where the location is, and that's it. So as far as they would be aware, like I just want to attend, right? Like, well, I mean, I am posing as a Jenny Jangles, and it would uh, be inconvenient. Well, Jenny, Jenny Jangles is in the opposing mafia, so if you go anywhere near that place, you're gonna you're gonna have some problems. Oh Lord! <laughs> but, but she has a thing for. <sighs> She has a thing for him. You don't know anything about whether he's got a thing for her. Mm. So, uh, we'll yeah. For the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> so, can I try to snag a low grunt level mook? So, most of the, uh, you know, mo most of the animals in like the safari setting are the ones that work for him. You know, who are you going after? I'm going to go for one of the hyenas. All right. Because they seem like pushovers a little bit. Sure. So roll it up. Let's see how successful you are. All right. You got this. Well, oh, oh wait, no. Okay. The one is the enemy die. So I'm actually doing good, I think. 
That's an eight base. What what am I? I'm rolling wild, so that gives me plus two, ten. All right, that is. Oh, plus my plus two forwards makes it a twelve. All right, so uh, any doubles? Uh, no doubles. All right, so you you are wildly successful with your wild. Hey. Um. So uh, you you snag a a hyena. You're able to get in and get out. Uh, you know, from wherever this dude was. Was hanging out and you bring him on back to your your hideout you bring him to somewhere else where do you take him um i'm going to take him to a uh i'm gonna just take him out somewhere that's like in the middle of nowhere like behind a maintenance building or something and then just kind of leave him there to be found later sure because i don't want to let him know where our stuff is. And I also Perfect. don't want to like, you know, make it worse. Like, I just want him to think that I just want to know where the thing is. Basically. Sure. Is anybody with you? Is this a solo mission? Um, I think it should be a solo mission. So that way no one else is incriminated or recognized. Okay. So I'm just going to snag him, tell him I want to know where the sty is. I heard they got great booze. I need some of it. I need to sample it. I've got this dream of sampling booze in every speakeasy in the zoo, that kind of thing. Wow. <laughs> All right. So uh, you uh, you grab him and you're just going to try and persuade him. Yeah. All right. Start spitting. Okay. Oh, uh, that's cocked. Okay. I have doubles, no bosses showing, and seven plus. I think zero. Uh, no, plus one. Seven plus one is eight. All right. So success with consequence. Uh, you know, you're gonna get a minus one forward, but you can give a plus one forward to a teammate. I will give a plus one forward to Arnold because I think he's gonna need it. <laughs> so the way I've been rolling, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> so with with your consequence. <laughs> Either, uh, you know, th this guy, like, you did something to to mess mess this guy up, and he's gonna he's gonna remember you specifically, uh, or you have to bribe him with something, you know, decent off of off of your sheet. Um. Okay. Well. Um. Let's see. What do I have? Um. Oh shoot! I'm gonna have to give him my wristwatch. All right. Yeah. So yeah. He takes the rich the wristwatch as payment, uh, and he tells you, you know, how to get into the sty. Um, now, now the 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 current password, which. You guys know that you know, the, the the password, passphrase, call it what you will, is something that is going to not change frequently, but you know that it's only going to be good for so long because they do occasionally change. Um, mm -hmm. So just because you're getting in now, so you're going to be able to get in later. I'm sure they're going to change that after we do whatever we do, whether it's successful or not. We change the whole system. Oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll return, tell everybody what I learned, and then we can know where we're where we're going. All right. So uh, I need you to do one more thing, and uh, give me a give me a sly roll, just to see whether any of this was potentially observed. Okay, that is nine plus one ten. All right. So you were you were able to pick a decent out of the way place. You were able to handle it quickly and quietly enough that nobody was uh you know peeking or poking around. All business was taken care of to everyone's satisfaction. Oh shoot, but I got a minus one forward, don't I? You did from before. So it's actually a nine. Okay. Uh so there is some kind of consequence. <laughs> uh We'll have to figure out exactly what that is. Um, 
Um, shoot. Maybe. Uh, roll, just roll a d6 for me. Okay. One. All right. So I gave it, I gave it a 50, 50 shot as to who happened to be observing. And it was, either, it was either going to be good cop or it was going to be bad cop. And oh. For you, you rolled good cop. So, uh, a- after after your hyena friend, quote unquote friend, leaves, you, know, you turn to to kind of walk away, and you see the eyes of a panther kind of glaring at you. As uh, Detective Dermond is uh, kind of sitting there watching as all of this uh, expired. Oh. Okay, I will uh, say hi. Um, good evening. Uh, as you can see, I'm currently up to some shenanigans again. Uh, however, I am also in the business of having a certain raccoon procure you a certain something that might be of interest to you. Well, oh, that's uh, mighty fine information be passed along by what looked to be nothing more than a couple of fine upstanding zoo folk having just a conversation and he he gives you a wink (laughs) kind of like taps his uh his his wrist watch kind of let you know the time is ticking on what you owe him why do you have to rub it in (laughs) Because he gave up his wristwatch. Well, you got to make it sting, man. <laughs> and then, uh, um, you know, he, he, uh, he's kind of like hangs his head. He's like, right, I got gotcha. you. Um, and uh, he just he just strolls away without, you know, any. You know, nothing said between him and you have any actual implications, uh, you know, but the gestures say it all as he walks away, you know, swinging the little billy club. Mm-hmm. And then so, you head back to the hideout. Yep, I head back, tell them the information. Also tell them I need to get some of that good garbage food for that raccoon soon. Because <laughs> um, he's going out on that job and I owe him quite a bit apparently for this. <laughs> like uh-huh. I'm just getting myself in food debt real quick <laughs> <laughs> well you know one decent score can can possibly set things right but uh that's I, true i haven't managed to get that that score yet no we haven't not yet yes exactly hopefully we will earn the good favor of someone over the course of this particular shenanigan All right, so you guys, uh, you know, make make it back. You have, you have the location uh, and how to how to get in to uh, to the sty, at least for the time being. What's the next plan? Uh. All right, so Arnold has the disguise to make it appear like the heavy from. Al Capone is up to no good. I'm going to be waiting around back for the booze. Or I'm, I'll, I'll go, or I'll have the ambulance around back ready for the booze. Now, maybe, you know, maybe I just leave it there park and go inside to try and help. Uh, Roscoe is doing a distraction. So. That leave you know frenzy and Arnold to have to do the you know the the heavy lifting, if you will, you know, get getting in, finding the stuff, getting the stuff out. Makes sense given that they're the biggest animals out of all of us. <laughs> uh, an, an ostrich and a gator. An ostrich and a gator walks into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> 
and they take one point. Uh, of one point of what? They take one point of damage. Oh so, yeah. <laughs> oh, from walking into the bar. That's. Do we actually take a point of damage, or was that just a joke? <laughs> That's just a joke. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna want that silencer. One of the guns with the silencer. We got one from the muskrats. Did anybody claim it? Uh, I thought we ended up with a couple of them. I, for some reason, I thought we ended up with like three of them. Uh, it was one or two. We definitely took them with us. Yeah, yeah. I definitely recall that. Um, but uh, anyway, I will request the, the, the weapon with the silencer. Well, it doesn't sound like there's any opposition from your your crew. So we were also all muted, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I I think opposition mute. Other... What's the difference? <laughs> Shouldn't the other silencer probably go to the other group that's being more sneaky, like? Yeah. Well, we, I mean, we got to make a distraction inside somehow. Also, when does Kinsey ever shoot anybody? That's true. Yeah. He turns them all into lunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, and and so Roscoe's plans on making a lot of noise anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, so I guess I'm going to get there a little bit early so I can back up into, you know, into the back of the place. All right. And uh, make sure there's no opposition. So is there like a door person at the back door that do they post cards out there? Uh it does appear that there is. Hey yo, uh I need to talk to you about something. There's a uh poorly dressed uh warthog, one of his uh tusks is completely uh you know broken off and you know you don't see it jutting out past his uh his lip. There's a. What's up? Got some real dames to bring to the party tonight. It's supposed to be a special treat for the boss. But uh, I'm sure they wouldn't mind if you checked them out first. And I'll try and lead them to the, to the back of the ambulance. Uh, give me a start spitting roll. All See right. how I, uh... That's a thing. That's a thing. Ooh, that's double fives. Oh no! Curse you, Carlo Hambino. Um. All right. So that is going to be an eleven with doubles, and the enemy boss is showing. All right. So, uh, so it's success, and you get a plus one forward on your next roll. Uh, but with the enemy boss showing, you're going to get a minus one forward, so it cancels. Well, actually, so what I, I actually get, uh, oh no, I'm looking at the wrong line. That's right. Um, yeah, so I guess so. Uh, when so I want to kind of like be like all buddy buddy with them, mm-hmm. right this way, my friend. These dames he, are just the finest. They dress to the nines. He he comes over, you know, with a you know, an eager grin on his uh, warthog countenance. Yeah, so I go, I take my hand off of his shoulder and go for the door with my one mm-hmm. hand and the other hand from behind my waistband. I pull out the silenced pistol and mm-hmm. I open it. So look right in here. And then I shoot him in the back of the head. All right. Give me a bring the heat. Come on, Dice. Don't make me spend the marker on this. Okay, okay, okay. All right. That is a da, 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 da. that is going to be a nine with doubles. Nine with doubles. So uh it's success with consequence. Um uh, you got a minus one forward and you can give a plus one forward. All right, I'm gonna give the plus one to frenzy. All right. Uh so you're uh you're able to get him into the car. He dead because uh he was a mook. Uh 
but as you do so like there's a you you close the door to the the car and it's a little bit louder than you would wanted to have happen um so what i will do is i will move to this i will i will just move to um does the door open in or out it opens out so i will move to where the door would open so that i'm on the other side of it okay and uh i'm just gonna wait to see if anybody comes out to investigate all right. So uh while while you're waiting, what's uh what's the next part? Who uh, who owes doing what? Well, I am going into the place. Um maybe I'm not posing as the doorman. I just want to be in there so I can make a racket whenever I get the signal. Sure. Uh-huh. So Yeah, and I guess um no hold, hold up. So Roscoe, just give me a general uh start spitting roll to see how well you're blending in with the crowd, how well you're controlling. Okay. Let's see. Okay, um that's seven eight. So for the most part, you're you're blending in kind of well. Uh what you do see. Uh, you know what? What could be none other than uh, Charlie Chains? You know, at at the bar, and this is this is a big giraffe, and you know he's got a well, uh, well, you know, well made suit. You know, he's he's got numerous necklaces. He has to the, the he has to bend his his neck to fit in this uh, establishment. But it seems like he does this a lot when he's inside, um, and you can see that he's he's got two. They, they look almost like mitts, uh, made of of actual chain, you know, hanging off of his belt. And as you're as you're milling about, and you keep taking this uh, this giraffe in every so often, he kind of like runs his hand uh across the uh the, the chains almost like uh like a warrior that's has to be close to his weapon um but like body in the room as he kind of mills about and walks about you know gives him his due uh, you know that this is a well respected you know animal here in in the sty okay um seeing him i will probably try to like avoid him if i can like put my head down and try to like avoid notice um okay. just sit somewhere kind of in an obscure corner not making trouble right now all right uh give me a get out of a jam let's see how well uh you can avoid this guy's uh attention okay that is uh is that a sly that is slot. Oh no, that's Moxie. Moxie. So it's a straight roll. Four. Four. Well, you can take that XP. Because you're kind of keeping your head down and what have you. The other side of the, the table moves when this giraffe sits down, you know, right next to you. You know, I ain't I ain't seen you in this place before. That's because I haven't been in this place before. He's like looking at you expectantly. I'm sorry. I'm trying to read here. Have you been to Dorothy's before? He gives you a sour look. Hmm. I'm intrigued that he knew to do that. (laughs) (laughs) Um, (laughs) Is there something I can help you with? You you know who I am, right? You are a very tall giraffe with a very interesting sense of fashion. 
Well, you're new here, so I'll uh, I'll take it as a sign a sign of you didn't know, but I work for the boss, and usually there are signs of respect, and you don't seem to be offering it. Um, what would you consider respectful? A friendly greeting. Um, you know, you, 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 you recall like when you were watching, like everyone else was kind of like bowing and showing deference of like, you know, acknowledgement that this dude is who, who he is. Oh, okay. And um, you, you are basically just be like, yeah, you're a nobody. I'm going to just sit here and insult you. Um, well, uh, I mean, hello. <laughs> and then, and then he kind of pauses, looks around, he's like, or would you prefer hello? <laughs> and then like waggles his eyebrow. So he, he gets up forced, forcibly, uh, the, the table is, uh, kind of pushed against you more than, you know, you'd really find comfortable. And he just completely turns his back on you and before he's more than a couple of long strides away you know his long neck snakes around and uh give me a hmm give me an awareness roll put your peepers to work okay um okay that's nine plus zero nine <laughs> all right you're pretty sure you just made it I made an enemy? Indeed. Oh, no. Ted, please tell me he has a move where he just flails his head and neck around and slams you with his head. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that, that's a giraffe standard attack. <laughs> um. So Roscoe will just sort of like sit there and drink and kind of like avoid the giraffe's gaze if possible. <laughs> so you, you, you notice like the, the point's been made, and if you pay attention, and I'm not even going to have a further role, he doesn't look in your direction the rest of the, the time that you're here. Perfect. <laughs> no news is good news. <laughs> right. So, uh, Arnold and uh, Frenzy, what are you guys doing? Um, I guess... Uh... When I first walk into the bar, um, the speakeasy, what I'm going to do is not let it be revealed so quickly who I am. So I'm, I, any sort of jingly jangly, I have kind of tied up, you know. Okay. So it's not, not so jingly jangly as I make my way through. <laughs> Don't want to cost too much attention uh, immediately, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, I'm just um. Uh, Sit right next to the bar, next to Charlie. Give him um, the proper, um, you know, respect as to be expected with a man in his position, or rather, excuse sure. me, a giraffe in his position. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's le learning the vernacular of you know how to address you know animals and whatnot. It's you know person and people are are you know whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I have like I have like uh, the Godfather playing in my head the entire time I'm playing. Um. <laughs> But, you know, I'm just going to very coyly say to him, uh, you know, if being so tall and handsome was a crime, you'd be guilty as charged. <laughs> you know, I, I like you, Legs. Hmm. I like, you know, pat you on your, on your, on your back. Hmm. Well, I, um, you know, order him a drink kind of like just trying to fan down no pun intended the bar <laughs> to you know double up on what he's drinking so he he nods uh, appreciatively so um you know I just asked him like so what do you do when you're not being so brooding in here. He's he's not, you know, really 
brooding. He's he's having a grand old time. It was only, oh, okay, okay. Only the interaction with Roscoe seemed to have any real, you know, <laughs> detail to it. You know, he's 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 schmoozing. Like he's is especially in the, the sty, like he's the number two, number three person. Uh there's very few people who are gonna tell him what to do, and he knows mm. it. So there's no one in this room, you know, just looking at him that he fears feels like he could he would fear. So it's kind of like, you know, he's the king of the castle until Hamino walks in. Mm. And you know, I guess judging from his demeanor like that, I'll kind of like feel up his arms, like check his muscles out, like oh, oh. see you uh-huh. do some lifting. And as I'm doing, as I'm patting him down real fast, he's kind of like half feeling out his if he, if he has uh, this sounds really weird <laughs> checking out <laughs> his muscles, but at the same exact time as I'm making my way trying to see if I can spot frenzy. If she's entered in yet. Are you in yet, Frenzy? Um, okay. So I'm going to go with yes, because we came in here together <laughs> to do a thing. And I'm going to be honest. I'm not 100% what we're trying to accomplish, but I'm asking so that I can get back on board because there was a whole lot going on. that was following mostly. So for the most part, at some point in time, you guys are going to have to sneak out of the you know, the main bar area into the back area. Yes. You know, okay. find access to the alcohol, get it out the back door. Right. So we're doing the swiping. Okay. I, that's the part that I was missing that clicked into place. All right, good. So we've got, uh, Carlos flirting with the guy behind the bar. Uh, he's flirting with, uh, the enforcer at the bar. Cool. All right. Uh, how busy is the room? Uh, quite active. There's there's a lot going on. Okay. Is there anybody that's like going back and forth into the back? I mean, there are there are occasional servers and what have you that have to, you know, slip past and and go into the back. So that door opening isn't drawing attention on its own. Not not generally. I mean, like it's not like. Everyone is completely tuned it out occasionally, you know, uh, more of the help seem to look, but occasionally like others will acknowledge it or the fact that their chairs are facing that side of the room. Okay. Um, is there a uniform? If I see. Oh, sorry. Go. Oh, I was gonna say, if I see, if I, when I see frenzy, uh, you know, begin to make her move i'll more like you know lean my feather in on him kind of like i oh, you know that's a type deal <laughs> but as but as soon as i see frenzy you know start you know doing her thing <laughs> hmm. all right so uh frenzy yes they you know there does a you know there is a uniform it's not much but i mean there is one Okay, so can I tell where the break room is? Is there a break room? This is a speakeasy. Well, every, they probably aren't regulation. Yeah, every everything would be like or like everything <laughs> off of here is through a single sing, single door. Uh, you no, know, off off of this room. There's rest restrooms off the one side, and you know the back areas off of the the, the back of the next to the bar, if you will. Would I have to go through the same door to go to the restroom? Or is that a yeah. different door? Different different door. Mm. Well, I will tell you, and this is like me OOC mentioning this so that we can talk about it as a group and see if this is a good idea. Considering going into the bathroom and waiting for a server to walk in there so I can mug them and steal their clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, uh, Carlos is muted, but I see the clapping, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to wait in the bathroom for a server to come in, and I'm going to mug them and steal their uniform. All right, give me a... <laughs> what, what, is, what does this look like to me? Um, just give me a D6 roll, okay. and, then, and then a bop. 
So the D6 landed on six. All right. And the bop. We are looking at... Oh, wait, no. No, because I have a bonus to this. This is on my character sheet. Nine. All right. So you're you're able to take out the the server when they when they come in. You waited a while. Uh, so whatever whatever that winds up meaning. Uh, mm -hmm. So you tell me, uh, <clears throat> no, knowing that majority of the people that are you know going to be here are out of the savannah. Um, you know who who is it that you that you take out and how do you take them? To get their uniform. The Savannah. It doesn't have to be, but... There like... are crocodiles found in the African Savannah. So if I'm lucky enough to manage to bag one of those, that is what I will do. All right. Well, you got it. I, th I think this is how Frenzy's romance in this game should start. <laughs> mugging a crocodile uh, for their clothes yeah that's that's the beginning of the romance arc for a frenzy oh my god <laughs> oh. I'm well, just gonna like stuff this person in the bathroom stall and go so so are, do you do you kill them or do you just knock them out oh I just knock them out like there's okay. there's no need to kill them even if they saw me by the time they wake up from that beating I'll be long gone Oh, I love this. <laughs> Even when it's time to wake up from that beating. <laughs> I'm just imagining like a savage crocodile beatdown. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. All right. No take it. All right. Yeah, so um, I'll lean in on the Charlie and be like, darling, I love this place, but I'm sort of new here. You think you can show me around? As I kind of like wink at him a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Right. <laughs> yeah, so, you know what I'm saying, man? That, that's uh, that, that's going to be a convince. Uh, so start spitting. See how, see how well your flirting has gone. All right. And now Arnold's pregnant. <laughs> uh, okay wait a minute it's six seven eight yeah eight total oh plus the one that's nine and spitting is which again magnetism oh well i thought it was like i was really thought it was moxie for whatever reason nine ten eleven all right that that's success yeah uh he seems to uh, not have a problem with your. Uh, he's he's picking up what I'm putting down. I see. <laughs> uh. So, uh, what is it that you're trying to convince him to do? Just um, you know, I have a feeling. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a feeling when things start um, cracking that we you don't want the enforcer in the general populace. So maybe take him somewhere quiet, have him show me around a little bit, places he's willing to take me for some <coughs> private time. <laughs> so you you trying to get him to take take you into the back? Yeah. Sure. All right. Um, Just show me around the place. So, uh, you know, is uh, Carlos breaking up for anybody else? Yes, yes, that's why I was nodding, I was being slightly sarcastic, and I'm sorry, <laughs> Carlos. We didn't need any of that. Um, you were kind of jumpy and frozen and broken. Oh, so sorry. Um, I'm just going to like ask for a tour. Location and you know, 
try to convince him that I am looking just to uh, have some alone time. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, he's, he says that, you know, he can he can show you the storeroom and he kind of, you know, dro- drops uh, the hint of, you know, can show all the different options of things that aren't even here. And he gestures towards behind the bar where there's a, a decent selection of stuff, but Mm-hmm. Oh, he's okay. going to show you where the good stuff is. Nice. And, uh... <laughs> show me where the contraband is, you know what I mean? Uh, it's um... all contraband. You're in a freaking speakeasy. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about this place is against the law. <laughs> Booze, drugs, gambling. <laughs> Yep, yep. All right. Big dog, I will love the Grand Tour. So, uh, you know, he he stands up and, you know, again, his head kind of drops back down. You hear the the, the chains jangle as one of his long arms kind of drapes across your broad shoulders. And he begins to... uh, make his way towards the the back room you know the uh you know the bartender gives a look and his head just kind of nods uh doors swing open uh for him and i'll say to him darling this is going to be so exciting (laughs) so what is uh what is kenzie doing as uh uh, uh, Charlie and Arnold uh, s- uh, slip off out of the bar. Um, I am going to head into the back, bold as brass, like I belong here and I'm supposed to be here. I'm just gonna walk back, grab a box, and leave. <laughs> Okay. Like, this is fine. Like, I'm not even worried about it. I'm just going to walk back, grab a box, and leave. And then if somebody stops me, we can deal with it then. Kinsey doesn't think that far ahead. So are, are you bringing a box back to the back to the bar room? Or are you taking it, you know, somewhere else in, in, the, in the inner workings of the establishment? I mean, is there a back door? Because if I can just leave through the back door, that'd probably be better. But, like... Yeah, the, the back door is where uh, Tully is parked, waiting okay. for you guys to, you know, oh. make, a, make a drop. Well, then, yes, that's where I'm going. All right, so uh, give me... A... I do close the box. So give me a, give me a sly roll. Um... Oh, good. I am so good at that. Why did I try to do this? Hey. <laughs> You got this. Eight. Eight. All right. Um, so one of the other uh, servers sees you, um, but they don't. They don't say anything. They don't. They don't stop you. Cool. It's fine. Yeah. So what is what is Roscoe doing? As you uh, as you see your supposed compatriot go uh, buddy buddy all close like uh, into the back room. Hmm. Did we work out a signal ahead of time or no? I assume you did, and it probably has something to do with the Maltov cocktails that you yeah. snuck in. Yeah, um, I'm surveying the room to look for like draperies or things that are like highly flammable and kind of away from the bar because my goal is to start a fire on one side of the room and then to start a fire on the other side of the room. Uh, there are indeed draperies. This is a, this is a very nice place. Uh, you would imagine of the three, you know, Ham, Hambino, Capone, and Otto, Hambino is the one who cares the most about style. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm just scouting out places that I can sneakily start a fire. You want to sneakily start a fire? Yes. (laughs) So, uh, (laughs) 
you know what? I'm going to give you the choice. You can either commit a caper or get out of a jam because like moving fast could work with this. Um, but it also sounds like being a, being a criminal. So uh, I'll let you pick Moxie or Sly. I have a plus one to Sly. I'm going with Sly. All right. All right. Um, so, okay. That is a nine plus one for 10. No doubles. That's a success. Okay. So I start the fire. Do I start both fires or I just start one? Oh, that, that's the first one. Uh, okay. So I set the draperies opposite the bar on fire. So were you looking for like a quick burn? Were you looking for, uh, you know, like uh, I'm going to set a fire and walk away so that, you know, people don't know it's me? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for is like, Start the fire, walk away. By the time somebody notices it's on fire, I'm already starting the next fire behind the bar is my goal because the giraffe right. is gone. All right. Well, the giraffe is indeed gone. So, uh, you know, you you like the first one, kind of get casual distance away from it before someone begins to panic. Uh, and hell breaks loose. So... You are a little surprised when a couple of the, the coats come off and what you see are a handful of uh, birds. You know, what they were wearing some kind of disguise as their coats fall off and their hats fall to the ground. Uh, gunfire begins to kind of rain out. Uh, people begin running in a variety of different directions you take two points of damage from the, uh, the 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 gunshots as you see a couple of hyenas on the other side of the room begin, uh, you know, returning fire to these birds. I am going to spend a marker to avoid that. Okay. And can I try to duck behind the bar? Sure, you can duck behind the bar. Okay. Yeah, I duck behind the bar for cover. And then get ready to set another fire. <laughs> All right. Um, so, Frenzy, at the time that you pick up this box and begin heading out, uh, you begin to hear commotion and what is mistakably, uh, or what is unmistakably gunfire coming from the room that you recently left. Okay. Do you continue with your plan? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right. And people got other things to worry about. <laughs> sure. Uh, Oscar v. Jenny, uh, as uh, you're getting a tour of, uh, you know, the back room and you see a couple of servers, you know, moving, moving about, you too hear a commotion and the unmistakable sound of gunfire. What do you do? Arnold? Oh, I'm so sorry. Like, um, you kind of <laughs> jittered in and out for me. Sure. So, uh, uh, Arnold v. Gen uh, Jenny, uh, you are in the back room with uh, occupying yourself with one, uh, Charlie Chains Gatano uh, when you hear the unmistakable sound of commotion and gunfire. Okay. What do you do? Uh, so, so before the gunfire goes off, he's getting close to me and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, oh, darling, is that a gun in your holster? Or are you just happy to see me? And uh, <laughs> then the sound of gunfire go off. And I go, oh, oh, no, please protect me. <laughs> As I lean on the guy. <laughs> Uh, all right. So are you you're just you're you're just still going with the the damsel routine? Absolutely. Until right. I just to get the drop on this guy. <laughs> give, give me a start spitting. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's not cool. So I'm gonna spend the marker to make it cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so he's still he's still buying your act. Um, and, uh, he, he kind of like, you know, 
turns and looks back towards uh you know the the doorway and you can see you know the flicker the flickering light um that is not candle but a clearly flame coming from you know the bar okay what's that oh no is is there is there a fire in here and i totally know there is a fire in here (laughs) (laughs) ollie from from the outside uh you you know within within a moment uh you you know you you hear the back door open and uh as it as it does, you can hear un- the sound of gunfire coming from inside. Uh, there's there's clearly a commotion going on, and uh, Kenzie comes out with a a box of who knows what. <laughs> I I will kind of uh, like peek in to make sure no one's following Kenzie. Uh, there are people running in all sorts of directions, including like people following behind. Oh, um, <clears throat> let's see how do I want to play this. I guess I'll direct Kenzie to the, the back of the uh, the back of the ambulance. Uh, be careful, <laughs> uh, Kenzie. There's a body in there, so don't open the door all the way. It might look suspicious. Okay. And, Good uh, enough for me. We've got company coming. <sighs> company. And then uh, it, it's someone that's obviously like coming to the door. I want to make mm-hmm. eye contact with them mm-hmm. and like wave them to like, come on, hurry up, hurry up. Okay. Yeah, they they they're in a panic. <clears throat> um, like you can make eye contact, but you can see, um, you know. The, the fear you know in the in their eyes and like they may or may not be taking in details but they see an open door and they are they are gunning for it so you know kind of looking them up and down do they look like um do they look like uh one of hambino's people or do they look like <laughs> someone that was just like enjoying the speakeasy looked like some look like someone who was just you know here for a night's revelry Okay. Well, in that case, uh, so when they get out the door, I'm just going to point like away from the, you know, away from the building. You're going to want to go that way because the gun <clears throat> fire is coming from that way. <laughs> uh, Carlo Hambino wants to thank you for your patronage. <laughs> oh man, that's great. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even going to ask for a roll there. That was awesome, Dave. Uh, Roscoe, uh, as you light the second fire, uh, burning what is probably assured to be a lot of alcohol, what do you do next? Um, okay, okay, so I just want to make sure I understand right. There are actual, like, other birds probably from Al Capone's gang actually here firefighting the hyenas right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm actually going to toss the Molotov cocktail into the midst of the hyenas instead. Okay. Um, <laughs> Go ahead and bring the heat then. Okay. And I'm trying to do this without them noticing. Okay. That is doubles. It's, oh, um, that's a six plus one, seven, seven. It's not a failure. All right. Uh, so uh, you explode the uh, the Malta of cocktail at the feet of the, the, the two hyenas that have stood their ground against these uh these birds that declared a you know a message from Owl Capone. Um and they 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 fry, you know, they they they're they're uh you know clothing and fur you know alight quickly and they go down and they're they're gonna be a mess tomorrow for sure. Okay. Um then you tell me how much I can do in a round. My goal now is to basically take what I can from behind the bar and book it back where Frenzy went. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead and um, give me a give me a commit a caper. We'll see how much you can you can grab. 
Uh, okay. It's going to be a standard standard roll. Um, and if, if you fail, you just get nothing. There's no XP here. Okay. So I have doubles, no bosses. Okay. Yeah, well, don't worry about it. Don't worry, just give me a total. Seven. Seven. All right. So you, you can grab, you know, essentially one top shelf and one, you know, uh, you know, the next the next tier down, you know, uh, and you just run. Cool. Do you go out the front or do you go out the back? I'm going out the back because that's where Tully is. All right. Hey, uh, Frenzy, where's the storeroom? Oh, you know, just back that back down that way, down the hall. Uh, this box is full, and I'm like, load it. Yeah, but it's a whole bar. We're going to need more than one box. And so I'm just going to walk in, kind of put the pistol like in my jacket, uh, and you know, and pretend like I I belong here, and like okay. almost like slow turtle walk through and head in the direction of the storeroom. So you have to like okay. na- navigate through a a couple of uh you know, panicked guests that are run, running by you, um, you know, but it's not, it's not many and there's plenty of space in this hallway. So it's not like, you know, you're fighting a, a wave of traffic or any of that kind of stuff. Um, you know, as you kind of get in, uh, Arnold, as, uh, as, uh, Charlie decides to start heading back towards the bar where, um, you know, an ex- the sound of an explosion just went off. Do you do you let him go, or do you do anything? Uh, I, I I'm I'm gonna follow him towards okay. the action. Okay. And um, I guess I'm in a. Are we like behind the counter, or are we just coming in from a different angle? Uh, you you would you would be coming in like you're you're going to be entering into the bar next. Uh, you're going to be entering into the speed part uh, next to the bar. Okay. Um. Well, as we make our entrance, is is there enough time, or do I have an opportunity to maybe grab some of the good good stuff he showed me? Well, I mean, you could as he steps away, like. You could take stuff and then begin heading out instead of following him if you wanted. Yes. Okay. That's my intent to get more booze. Okay. Uh, so Roscoe, as you come into you know the back room, you see you know uh, you know this this beast of a giraffe like approaching. What do you do? Um. I will, uh, so Frenzy went in the same back room that they went in? Yeah, there's only oh, one back room. Okay, um, I misunderstood that entirely, but we're going to roll with this. Um, sure. I am going to... <laughs> I'm so, going option, to... Just... Options, options, you could just straight up run. You could, you know, leave, lead with... A- Panic, you know, help crazy bird shooting everybody and try to distract them from the fact that you're holding, you know, expensive alcohol. Um, you know, you could just try to do it stealthily and be unseen. Uh, or you can just be like, uh, F it and start start a fight. <laughs> I'm going to say F it and run the other way and go back out toward the front and then like <laughs> back from the outside. All right. So you're going to run back through where the where the birds are. Yeah. All right. Um, so the uh, the uh, the the birds are still, you know, causing a scene. They've they've, you know, they they don't care whether they're uh, specifically hambinos or not. They are they are shooting things that are moving. Does that change your plan? Um. Shoot. Literally. <laughs> yeah, <that's> um. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna say. No, I'm gonna chance it because I'm fast right. and small. And All right, give me a give me a moxie roll. Get out of a jam. Okay. Oh dear lord. Um, I'm going to spend a marker to turn it into a success. All right. So you because uh, that managed... was a four, and that is not a great place to be for this. 
Sure, sure. So you uh, you manage to get across the uh, the the room. Uh, you know, there's bullets. You know, and they don't seem to be, you know, dead set on you for whatever reason. You know, call it fate, call it fortune. Uh, but lady lady smiled on you as you managed to get out the front door, and you know, along with other people that are you know running and fleeing and what have you most of the bar at this point in time is empty besides these uh these birds and the now uh you know very angry giraffe yeah i mean i've only seen him angry so that's not a big change for me uh so arnold you uh you you grab grab something and begin heading in the uh other direction E- mm. the question is i because he so arnold doesn't know he knows there's commotion outside he doesn't know um it's birds potentially being al capone's gang so sure, but you do know you do know the distinctive sound of gunfire and you've seen a lot of panicked people fleeing screaming okay something big is going on you know that roscoe was supposed to start a fire you can see fire um okay you know, yeah you're right the the signal fires have been lit <laughs> the biggest have been lit <laughs> all right so yeah uh, you so, you're, you're absolutely right um I think I would just, um, I think Arnold would just, you know, book it with his score. So you, you, you grab some of the, you know, the good stuff that, uh, that Charlie was, was pointing out. Um, uh, Roscoe flees, uh, Kenzie, do you come back in or do you say, Hey, I grab something. I'm good. And you get in the car. Uh, no, I go back in and get another box. All right. <laughs> I direct her to where the good stuff is. <laughs> so, are you looking, uh, you know, for Tully, Kenzie, uh, uh, Arnold? As you grab stuff, are you looking solely for booze? Uh, are you looking for munitions? Combination thereof, because uh, as you're in the back room of the sty, there are there are options. Hmm. Uh, most of this other stuff is not going to get our boss to not be mad at us anymore. I'm pretty tunnel visioned here, but I'm not going to be upset if somebody else wants to grab other things. I'll see if I can find a weapon that's respectable. What are you looking for? Oh, man. You know, the Gazette typewriter, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to, uh, you want a Tommy? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. If you're looking to do one trip, uh you know, you, you could grab and you could find a Tommy, uh, or you can grab a you know a box of the good stuff. If you want to try and get both, I'm gonna need a roll. Ah, <sighs> well I think the Tommy. All right. I want the Tommy, yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, Tully, what do you grab? Uh, I'm looking for a cask or a keg or something I can roll. Okay. But I also want to try and find like a a bottle of grain alcohol. Okay. Uh, which I will then um. Give me, uh, give me, uh, give me, uh, put your peepers to work. All right. Don't fail me now, dice. That is an eight. That's an eight. Uh, so you can you can find something. Um. You know, and uh, as you as you do, you can definitely hear, you know, sounds from the the other room. Uh, you know, the distinctive sound of uh, heavy impact and a wet thud. <laughs> I wonder what frenzy has gotten up to. Um. Uh, I will puncture a hole in the green alcohol uh, mm-hmm. in the stopper. And as I'm rolling the keg out, I am going to be pouring it behind me away from the ammunition. Okay. I kind of have an idea of what, what you're up to. Uh, 
everybody grab what they're going to grab? I, I think so. Well, just in case say, you had no idea what Tolly was doing, I'll give you a hint. He's been doing it the entire <laughs> game. I, 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 as, as soon as he All said, right. I'm looking for grain alcohol, I knew what he was going to do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> his, oh, <laughs> his oh does two, Tolly. His character does two things, and right now, it's not about driving, so it's the other one. <laughs> <clears throat> what's what's our run once my bottle of green alcohol runs out i will pause put one leg up on the keg uh strike a match to light my my uh my cigar and then drop the, mm. the burning match on the uh on the trail of alcohol and then keep going all right so the three of you uh get in uh along with the uh the uh, the booze that and you have procured and the dead warthog and uh, you begin driving off into the night. So, uh... I kind of want a Bernie. Uh, we get into Bernie's this guy now. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's the best to party with. He's a real animal. <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's doesn't work during Prohibition. <laughs> <laughs> right. True. I'm going to put the ambulance back and uh, I'm going to put him in the driver's seat. <laughs> so, just uh, just because I'm I mean, uh, Roscoe, you have, you have fled on foot out the front, carting away booze. Uh-huh. Uh I, I I need a moxie roll. Get out of a jam. Let's uh oh or, my. you know what? I'll allow Sly if you want to try and say you're you're being sneaky and you don't want to be observed. I think Sly I want to be sneaky and unobserved. All right, let's give it a roll. He's blending in. Nothing to nothing to see here, folks. No. <laughs> okay, that is seven, eight, eight. I don't know how many doubles. All right. So you succeed with a consequence. For whatever reason, you decide to look back and you can see very, very well backlit come out of the front door. Uh, you see Charlie, his chains, you know, glistening, you know, not only on his on his neck, uh, but on uh, you know, his meaty fists. And you get the idea that he has seen you. Fleeing. I blow him a kiss. <laughs> oh god. Nice. Uh but you manage to, you know, you know, snake away into the darkness. Uh he does not pursue. And eventually, slowly but surely, you know, you all make your way back to your to your hideout and uh wait the evening out. You can hear the chaos and the and the, the commotion of the evening, you know, throughout the zoo. A whisper, you know, campaign goes up as you know, the flames light the night, and uh, eventually the the cops, you know, come to try and figure out what has transpired. And uh, you're pretty sure the sty is not going to be in business tomorrow night. Mm. Uh, hey Arnold, that was pretty good. I know we said we were going to make it look like Al Capone was involved, but I didn't think you'd actually get her involved. As like the entire time, I know I didn't even reveal my disguise because <laughs> you know, I was like, "Yeah, thanks." Uh, you know, just like, "Oh yeah, yeah." <laughs> So, uh, if anyone knows, does anyone know, is a kiss considered respectful to a giraffe? Oh, uh, I don't know. Usually they bash each other with their heads. I guess that could be like a well, kiss. Oh. Well, let's just say I showed him a lot of respect then in the back room. <laughs> oh, excellent. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know if I want any more information there, uh, Arnold. Well, I wouldn't want to get us demonetized, so <laughs> don't worry about it. 
I was just thinking the whole time, oh God, type fade to black, fade to black. I don't even no, care no, about no, the monetization. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally, I, I, I know, be respectful, <laughs> be very tasteful. No, no, that, that's a nerdarchy after dark special. Uh, oh. you, you, you instead role playing that out. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't see that happening. Seduce me, Ted. Come that, on. That'll be the Seduce nerd, me, man. nerdarchy only friends. <laughs> uh, I don't think anybody wants to watch that. Come on, the content's there, man. <laughs> so the uh the night passes and uh the the following morning, you know, those that read the uh Central City Gazette. <laughs> You know, top top story is you know fire in the zoo, suspected speakeasy. You know question mark question mark. You know a possible shootout between El Capone and Carlo Hambino's thugs. You know, murder in an ambulance. We have the you know, lower down on you know we we have the the arrest records of uh, Oswald the ostrich. So, so many things, you know, going on. What what kind of zoo are we living in where all of this stuff can happen? The usual. The usual. Now we just need uh, to uh, have Arnold rehash Jenny from time to time. But every time mm -hmm. Charlie shows up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, is that it for this evening, Zookeeper? No, you guys. You guys want to go? Uh, go meet with with Oliver and. Oh yeah, if... we got to meet with. Oh, Oliver. that's right. We have that's to turn right. our quest in. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Completely. Ugh. So, uh, you know, the the following evening, uh, who is it that reaches out to let Oliver know that you've actually got some booze for him? Well, I mean, Arnold's kind of our de facto leader, so. He is not the leader. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're following you. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will be the first one going, but he's like, I shouldn't be doing this. But he's just like looking at a whole bunch of other qualified candidates. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, you know, I definitely. Uh, he presents the score of uh, like behold the top alcohol from one courtesy of um uh, so I, I would imagine I would imagine you would probably like conduct a meeting and say hey I've got stuff where do we bring it rather than be like oh let me cart this stuff around this is super okay. illegal um yeah, sure. <laughs> you guys are 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 sly enough to you know, you know, be uh be be thoughtful about how to operate in a very illegal way. I I also think we'll bring a copy of the Gazette with us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good call. Yeah, it's a contrary to popular belief, I'm actually not a gangster, so I wouldn't <laughs> they operate. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Oliver, have you read the paper today? I, uh, I'm up to date. It's nice to know what, uh, what ongoings are, are happening in the zoo that might affect us. Happy croc wiggle. Happy gator wiggle. <laughs> Not a croc. <laughs> so, uh, I, I take it you had something to do with the, the ongoings? Well, we needed to get some more booze. You know, we can't be relying on Dorothy forever until the still's up and running. So a little something extra to, you know, lessen the blow and uh, also to maybe uh, increase the impact on your competitors. That's, uh, that's quite the... Uh... Quite the windfall of good news to hear. And it was amazing the way Arnold tricked Al Capone and Al Capone's people into showing up and attacking Ambino as we're pulling this off. 
He's a genius. Ah, shucks, Tully, you too. You know, you just, just, no, 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 you're too much. That was uh, quite clever. I totally uh, play it off like it was my. <laughs> quite clever. Totally playing it off like it was totally my idea. <laughs> quite clever to turn our enemies against each other. Hopefully, uh, that'll start a, uh, a war between them that we'll have some time to, to breathe, regroup, and get things situated. I think uh, for now, I think we take uh, take the night and have a drink and uh, enjoy the spoils of uh, our victories. Is Wild Bill currently... A guest of ours, or did we turn Wild Bill over to the Hampino organization? You turned him over to Machine Gun Auto. Okay, I mean not the Hampino, Machine Gun Auto. Yeah, I I know wrong, what you meant. Wrong, wrong, wrong crime bow, crime boss. So, right. uh, how is things going with Wild Bill? It's progress. I mean, it's only been like a day and a half at this point in time, so it's not a. It's not like uh, there's been. Uh, know time to you know really produce anything yet uh but but still is up and working and uh the the process of well what if we get multiple stills working is a a thought pattern that's that's happening so oliver actually invites you to to come to river bottom and uh you know have a uh, have a drink and you know, see see how we might be able to make a solid relationship for the future. That mm-hmm. sounds wonderful. So, uh, as long as it's you know, as long as you're ordering something that's coming from the shipment that uh, you've just turned over, you know, drinks are covered for the evening. Food food is uh, provided. Evening of uh, entertainment is to to be had. You can schmooze with. A number of people and eventually uh, as the as the evening goes on oliver and another otter that looks surprisingly like him that wind up coming over and making making some space at the table and oliver introduces you know none other than machine gun auto oh this is quite the honor sir oh uh, <laughs> Indeed it is. Oh. And so here is the respect. And I will give him the top shelf bottle that I pulled. So, yeah. uh, I'll straighten up my hat, you know, and clean up my jacket a bit. So Oliver here tells me that you uh you all done some work for us. Yeah, we're we're trying, sir. Yes, sir. So uh there's a a lot going on here in the zoo. A lot that you can, uh, anyone could try and do. What makes you got your heart set on me? Well, we like your style. You're flashy. You don't hide behind others. And, uh, you know, you seem to just go with the, go with the flow and use your, your instincts and your guts. Like a like a real animal should. Mm. It's what it's like when you're behind when you're behind the the wheel driving. It's all you got is your nerve and your guts. You know, none of that else, other stuff matters. All right, I like what you're saying. What about you? He turns to the red panda. Um. Well. I, for one, like your sense of style. I also tend to like fire, as do we all. And we <laughs> talk that, uh, you tend to be a rather uh, uh, particularly inspirational individual in regards to that particular element for a creature of the water. And he'll just kind of like slide the bottle his way. Um, and I'll take, you know, he'll take a pull of it. Uh, you know, there's plenty here that 
like the <clears throat> we call it illumination. But I can understand and respect that. What about you? He turns to uh to Frenzy. Well, I've heard that your parties are always hopping. And my friends are here, and I like my friends an awful lot. You know, simple gal with simple needs. Well, you keep doing as you're uh, as you're doing. <laughs> There'll be plenty of party and plenty of fun. I won't let you down, sir. No need for the sir. And he turns to uh to the hippo. What about this one here? Why, well, sir? I want you to know I respect the man who will get. The- job done by any means necessary. You know? And, you can't make an omelet while cracking a few eggs. And uh, it does seem that uh, you guys were willing to get the job done by any means. And wow, there was some hiccups on the initial plan. And it took some extra time. You brought me an asset. He eventually brought me the alcohol that I was looking for. So, uh, well done. I think, uh, I think there might be some space for you here permanently. Should, uh, some things continue. We'll have to see whether we can direct your talents in the, in the future. Would that, uh, would that please you all? Oh, very much. It would be an honor, sir. Mm-hmm. Well, it would be an honor to swim in your seas. Well, yes. I, I won't distract you from your, your night of revelry that you certainly deserve. And I won't bring down my uh, my presence upon anyone else. And he looks around at the at the bar and you can certainly see that there are there are people who are certainly nervous at the casualness of uh, Otto's appearance. The most reckless of the of the mafia lords here in the zoo. Uh, he's got a, you know, he doesn't walk with the swag, you know, and he doesn't have the the merciless gaze of uh, Al Capone. But you know that if you rub him the wrong way and just gun you down wherever and has done so in the past. <laughs> so yeah. th- there does not appear to be a murder in his eye look at the moment. So uh, he gives you all a smile. A server appears next to him almost, uh, you know, out of hand. You know, he takes the, the drink from the, from the tray, salutes the, the lot of you, downs it, and uh, without a further word, stands up from the table and begins making his way. And he greets a couple other patrons before, you know, disappearing into a back room. You notice that as he exits, the music picks back up. But for a while, it was quiet and the revelry continues uh, unabated uh, and a pleasant evening is had by all. Is there anything that you guys discuss or talk about while you're, you know, here having a grand old time? Oh, oh my God. I can't believe Machine Gun Auto came and spoke to us. I can't believe that we made it in. You're not in yet. I he, he can't, can't believe we're still alive. <laughs> I can't believe he said the sir wasn't necessary. Yeah, he said that there might be space if you guys continue doing what you're doing. I like the idea Roscoe just considers himself in now. (laughs) Yeah, he does. He absolutely does. Like, that's the thing. Roscoe is so full of himself. He he just thinks he's in now. And he also, like, aside from you guys, people are assets to Roscoe. So, like... (laughs) That's just so how is he it, goes. Is it just us uh, by ourselves now, kind of? 
Yeah, Oliver and uh, Otto, you know, got got up. I mean, if if you had wanted to grab Oliver, like he he would stay and talk for a moment. But like, if you didn't give any indication, like he would be following with uh, with Otto. I can't believe how alike they look. Do you think they just switch places randomly at times? Like we could be thinking we're dealing with Oliver, and it's actually Machine Gun Otto. That's possible. I had considered that. We we better be really careful what we say around Oliver. I, I mean, he's we repeating everything we say to him to Otto anyway. We should be careful regardless. That's yeah. A good point. What if they're twins? What if they like have a psychic connection? That's you know we just think the work. same thing. I'm going to, like, just reach up and, like, check Arnold's temperature and check Tully's temperature. <laughs> I mean, haven't we had discussions about aliens already? I think so. <laughs> yeah, but aliens are kind of feasible. Twin telepathy, it's like you've never met twins before. I think we're slowly but surely discovering Tully might be a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> But like really far out crazy conspiracy. Oh my god, is no, he a flat earther? I mean <laughs> he's a flat earther. Who's to say? No, no, no. You... It's all on the back of a giant tortoise. <laughs> yeah, it's a Zaratan. So with mm -hmm. you know, you know, you guys have a have a grand old time, you know, here in the bar. Uh, you get a number of people that come up and you know, offer congratulations as, you know, myths and stories are now being shared about, you know, what's transpired, you know, what's in the newspaper. Uh, so you can either play things up and try to boost the boost the reputation. You can try to like play it off and like, nah, you know, it's is what it is. What what direction do you guys try and try and do? Uh, Tully's looking around to see if there's any flamingos. <laughs> uh there isn't yeah, yeah. flamingo here in the uh in river bottom is it a lady flamingo indeed interesting <laughs> tully is going to go get an extra go saunter his way over there with an extra drink all right he only ordered one, but they gave him two. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, as you flirt with the flamingo, uh, you know, as revelry happens and people talk to you guys, do you try to increase your reputation here based on what has transpired? Do you try to play it off or do you try to downsell it? Um... Logically, I, the player, understand that the less attention we're dragging, drawing to ourselves, the better, but Kinsey would 100% be bragging, and I'm not going to stop her. All right, so one one vote for upsell. Yeah, Arnold? like, um... Yeah, like, absolutely. Arnold's going to be bragging about... I don't, I don't know. Wait a minute, I guess this is kind of awkward, yeah. I'll talk about how I... Who went over? Uh, Charlie Chains. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about Roscoe? Without Roscoe. going into too much detail. <laughs> well, I, I don't need any detail. I'm just looking. You know, are you are, are we are we boosting? Are we you know down downplaying, or just trying to like keep it neutral? What about you, Roscoe? Roscoe is playing up what everybody else did. Like he's kind of like the Aww. hype man for all of his friends. Sure. In part because he just wants them to be hyped and get famous, but also in part because he wants to not be famous, mm -hmm. and he thinks the best way to do that is by hyping all of them up. All right. And uh, Tully? Oh, I think he's totally going to sell it. I mean, I don't think you become like a race car driver to be modest. So... All right. All right, so we have we have upvotes for everybody. So you guys sell the sizzle of what you've done. And on that, uh, we will end here. Uh, you guys can come on back and visit the channel on Friday. 
we have a live chat cast coming up, Dave? Maybe. Uh, we okay. had one that was kind of tentative that we have not filled that slot yet, so we'll okay. see. All right, so there might be a live chat on Friday, but I can guarantee you that there will be an unofficially arcane, uh, as was it the was it the term penultimate? Uh, we have two sessions left. Um, you know, as we get closer to the finale of Untraditionally Arcane, you can come back, join Carlos and Robin and myself as at the helm for yet another D and D game. Uh, follow all of these wonderful people down in the links below. Um, you know, go, all about jazz. Go oh. grab your quick start rules for Zoom Mafia. Download the the form fillable PDF character sheet. Sign up for the newsla- newsletter ZooMafiaRPG.com. We're gonna we're gonna figure out how we can get like a sign up sheet to send out to everyone if you want to play in a Zoom Mafia virtual one shot with Ted or myself. We're going to start running some games for people, so uh, definitely sign up for that. That's probably where we're going to let you know what's going on. So until next time, stay Stay nerdy. nerdy. Stay nerdy. Mm -hmm.